All right. First one here. We're on to geometry two. Hooray! Let's all say hello to Euclid. And none of you said hello to Euclid. Thanks. All right. Um, we have to prove that angle A equals angle C in the parallelogram A, B, C, D. So obviously all of the all of the um, properties of of parallelograms. I wonder if that worked. Okay, um, sorry about that. So yeah, we, we can use all the properties of parallelograms. Well, we have to use the properties of parallelograms to prove this. So we need to prove that angle A is equal to angle C. You guys are fine with the notation, I'm assuming, that that is angle A, angle C. Now, obviously, you can't use that notation uh, in certain situations because you might have uh, more than two lines coming off it. Like C may be involved in more than one angle. Does that make sense? If you had uh, like uh, that came out there, then that's angle C and that's angle C. Does that make sense? So you can't use just angle C. That's where you've got to use the three letters. Okay. All right. So what do you reckon is our our proof for this? What can we do? We have to prove it's parallelogram. Think back. Don't think about the shape. Think about the whole thing. Parallel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. They are just equal. Okay, I'm going to start you off and I'm going to go, okay, let angle A equal X degrees, okay? We're just going to define a variable uh, and that way we can use it. If that's the case, so say so that's X degrees, then you should be able to work your way around the parallelogram. What's angle B? No, nah, I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use x still. I don't want multi variables. I just want the one variable. What is b? You could, but we're not. I don't want to. Um, in the properties we've got, properties of a parallelogram. It does say opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So yes, technically we probably could, but we're proving it. So we're gonna we're gonna prove it. In other words, I want a proof. So I've just said that that is x. Now, so I'm trying to avoid using anything about it being a parallelogram. If I had two lines that were parallel, and I cut them with a transversal, what can you tell me about that angle and that angle? What sort of angles are they? They are not complementary. They are supplementary, but what sort of angles are they? Co-interior. So co-interior angles on parallel lines cut by a transversal are supplementary, which means they do what? Excellent. Add up to 180 because the S in supplementary can also be used for the S in straight line. Okay, Supplementary, straight line, 180 degrees. Complementary corner 90 degrees see I'm clever okay so I could write this B is 180 minus X degrees happy with that that's what supplementary is now I've got to give a reason what's my reason Angle A and angle B are complement, uh, co interior. And AD is parallel to BC. Happy with that? So basically, I've said which parallel lines I'm using as well.
Then what can I do? We're pretty much there. So we've now got that one. What can I do next? Do it again. Which angle? I could do that, but where am I trying to get to? I'm trying to get to angle C. So I'm there, I might as well just go straight to angle C. So angle C equals what? Not quite. It's not co-interior with that one. Which one's it co-interior with? Sorry? I don't know, I couldn't hear. Which one's it co-interior with? It is with D, but we haven't worked out what D is. It's co-interior with B. Yeah? So it's 180. Stop doing that. 180 minus B, isn't it? So let's do... Cool. I'm going to get rid of the disgrace signs for a second just because I'm hopeless writing them. Would you agree with that? Okay, why? Once again, they're co-interior angles, but notice they're different parallel lines because they're co-interior based on AB and CD. If I expand those brackets out, 180 minus 180 plus X equals X. Is that all right?